sing, sing a song. Imagine waking up in the morning with a view like this. I'm in a trendy riverside apartment. What a great space. With these rough leather sofas, it's sort of G plan in style, and there's enough room to sit four on these sofas very comfortably. I think the person that lives here obviously likes to spend some time on their own, but I think they love to entertain as well. I love the way these four deep red globes cast shadows over the dining table with these classical candlesticks adding that finishing touch. And they obviously love to celebrate because there's champagne, champagne for everyone. And that hits the right note for me. Sing a song. And speaking of notes, the piano here in the corner suggests that music plays an important part in the scheme of things. But what kind of music? We have some Benjamin Britten, Mahler, but more importantly, files and files of sheet music. See, I wish I could read music, because then I could explain what all these squiggles are here. There's a lot of world travel that goes on. This person's been to Europe and America, but is it for business or pleasure? And either way, I hope they manage to take two or three chums with them, because it can be a lonely business. You know what? I think I have the best job in the world. I get to look around lovely homes, meet really nice people who are more than happy to make us a good cup of tea and stop for a chatter. But here in the kitchen, it's the books that give us a good clue. Jumbled together with the cookbooks are serious music books, the Oxford Companion to Music and the New Cobes Opera Book, along with the Cambridge Music Guide. Well, it's not rock and roll, is it? More spectacular views from the bedrooms. Look at the cormorants lined up on the piles with their wings outstretched. They look like opera singers getting ready to belt out an aria or two. It's really cool, this apartment, and there's a temptation to just sit here and watch the river flow. But that's not a clue. These three traps are quite intriguing, but I can't help thinking that there's one missing. Now, you must be getting the impression that this is not a ladies' flat. Lots of lovely suits lined up here, and there's nothing finer than seeing a bunch of guys in cool suits strutting their stuff. So let's take a look at the clues again. The four-part harmony, Cobes opera, and the classic candlesticks. Who lives in a house like this? David, it's over to you. Well, thank you very much indeed, Lisa. And now for our home and studio audience, but not for our panel. Here's whose house it is. <laughs> One or two gasps there from the audience. Over to you, Sarah. Right. Nice flat. I like the leather sofa. It's clearly a, a, a gentleman. Um, now there was a there was kind of a few odd mixed messages. It's obviously, mu I think well, I'm fairly sure it's a musical guest. But not maybe I don't know. Not pop music, more classically. Okay. Bit of both. A bit of both. Oh, okay. Thrown it open. There are in th there are ingredients of one in what is predominantly the other. I think they're, I I, think. I think they're more known as classical uh, people, I would think, as opposed to, or person, as opposed to a, a popular music, I would, I would suggest. I, think I the, beg are to they, differ. Oh, really? I think they're... I, well, mean, I, think I may be absolutely wrong, but I would have thought the popular side is, I think more, they're pop is more well known. The popular side is more well known? Mm. I would have thought. I think, but I think but I stand uh, ready to be corrected. Well, I, I wouldn't dream of it. You're Sir David <laughs> Frost. How could I possibly? Um, uh, they are they're musicians, but I don't think they're composers. I, I, I think it's a, um, a singer of pieces of music. Yeah. Toya, you are this great musical maven. What are you going to... Thank you, Sir David. That's very kind of you. Well, the number four kept coming up all the time. Lisa pointed out 
The four chairs, the four lights, I mean, she couldn't have pointed a finger at it more. But I think this could be someone who's part of something that turns pop songs into classics. <laughs> and I was intrigued by the map of the world because I think this is someone who has, in the last two or three years, become so successful that they are travelling the world the whole time now. Sarah. Um, I did, it might have been a red herring, but Lisa was quite pointedly drinking out an, an X Factor mug. Oh, it's not. Uh, she was drinking tea out of an X Factor mug, so oh, right. I'm thinking maybe we might be talking about contestants' past. <laughs> oh, really? Ooh. Have they done work with other um, famous musicians or famous uh, singers in a <laughs> collaborative sense? I think we're all agreed all right. that this is one person of a group of four. <laughs> but what I need to ask, are you going to expect us to guess who that single person is? Yes. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> well, we've got to... well, let's be more cryptic. Is it the cute one with the blonde hair? <laughs> no. Is no. it the, the other three with the dark hair? <laughs> Like Def that. No, I'll definitely like dark. Yeah. Definitely dark. We can tell. We can. We, can we tell know you the, the collective. Group is. I think. We, we know, know the, the collective. collective yes. yes. All right. Together. You're going to say, make your selection. The collective is G4. G4. Yes. We should have sung that. We should have sung that. Beautiful. Beautiful. Now, classical <laughs> sense. I'd have done now, soprano. Thank now, you. the next step. Mm. Not quite so easy. <laughs> I can only remember the cute one with blonde hair. <laughs> the other three are mortified by that comment. There's always the one that gets the equally girls. as gorgeous. Well, we're going to give you half points for G4 and not the half points for forgetting Mike Christie. <laughs> Mike Christie, will you come through the keyhole?